Hi, I'm Dr. Jonathan Morris. We're gonna hear, looking at some of the virtual reality radiation safety modules we built for Mayo Clinic and for others. Okay, now we're in the virtual reality headset and where I'm standing in the headset is in room five at Mayo Clinic in one of the neuroangiography suites. And what we did was build these modules in order to teach people basic radiation safety as well as all the buttonology of how the machine actually works to teach people basics of cranial caudal, medial lateral, LAO, RAO, in order to teach them about the equipment before we start teaching them procedures and allow them to be safe in the room. So I'm gonna look around the room a little bit so you can see a little bit of what I'm seeing. There's a biplane Phillips unit here, and you can see the controls are there. There's a, a controller that's over here. I'm gonna move back out of the way. So now you can see that we've built some training material here. You can click next, brings up some lesson objectives. So getting dressed, click next. And now you can see that I'm looking at what I want to put on, my lead, my thyroid shield, hat, gloves, radiation badge, lead glasses. And you can see it's tracking the learner that they're doing it while we're going. Now we want to teach you about the room. So people have never been in a room, we want to teach them what is a lateral, what is an AP, what is the monitor, there's the anesthesia stand, here's the fluoro unit, the pedal, here's the consoles, and at each step we move on. Now we go next and you can see now we've put some people in the room. So I can teleport to the nurse and see from the nurse's view. I can teleport to the anesthesiologist, see from the anesthesiologist's view. I can go back here where the tech is and go and go and see where our radiology technologist's view is. And then I can go back to where I was standing before. So we can move on to next and then it gives a little description of who the people are. So there's the nurse. It comes over and it talks about the anesthesiologist. It comes over and it talks about the radiology technologist. And then it comes over and talks about finally the radiologist, cardiologist, or surgeon. And if I click next, you can see now that a lot of the room has changed. So we got rid of the table. And now we can see the internal components of the x-ray. That there's a generator, some wedge filters, a shutter, the filter, and the flat panel detector. And what we did was we built some animations in order so you can see that if we look at an x-ray tube that there's a cathode, an anode, electrons, x-ray photons, and you can see now from an animation standpoint what's happening, that the, it's shooting electrons across and as it hits it, it's releasing photons. From there, we started layering in the different parts of the system. So here are the soft filters. And if you look up at the monitor, you can see that the soft filters are homogenizing the image that we use often in, in spine in this case. Here are the, the shutters. So these are the hard shutters. And what it's doing is narrowing the beam to make it either smaller or lighter. So these are lead that keep the x-ray um, beam at the size you want it. Then we have an anti-scatter grid. And you can see that the anti-scatter grid is keeping the pieces, the, the photons, sorry, that are coming out, only allowing the ones that are going straight through, through there. And then finally, we have a flat panel detector that has some cesium ionide in it. And if you want to read about it, we have it here. So then we put everything back together and we show the photons coming out of the unit, that the x-rays are coming from here and they're landing on the detector there. And then we show that when they hit the patient, this is how we get radiation, that there's scatter that's coming out of the patient that's coming out and you can see as it trails away that some are orange, some are green. Then we go next. There's different types of scatter, back scatter, side scatter. And now we say like, what are some of the best practices? Uh, if we want to put sound on, we can put sound on. We can say, you know, never activate it unless clinically necessary. Don't step on the pedal unless you're looking at the screen. All the things that we teach our residents and fellows. Then we're looking at the tables going up and down. And then we're saying you should keep the flat panel detector like near the patient as low as possible. So then the other thing is like use, use the collimators to reduce. So if you look up at the screen, what's happening down here is happening up at the screen. And then next, you look back here and it gets the radiation shield. So we usually typically bring this in to angio. 
And then I say it's okay, we put on our we put on our radiation safety devices because we're gonna be standing in X-ray beam. And as you walk in, you see the exposure is getting deeper. So if I reach my hand in there, I'm getting the highest exposure. We also talk about the inverse square law. So over here we're showing that like there's the further away you are from the radiation, the better it is. That it's not just a one for one. And then we bring in things like, here we have a lead shield. So if you bring in the lead shield and you were to stand behind the red sh lead shield, that here you can see there's no x-rays getting to me. And then we also have a lead chariot. So here's the, here's the lead chariot that's coming in. And again, if I, if I look down here, you can see no radiation is getting into this area. After we do that, they, we look to make sure the table drapes are on. So a lot of times I come in the room and I'll kick under the table to make sure they're on. Uh, then we put everything back together, bring in the, bring in the lead, and then you say, okay, this is how it would look. I'm here by the pedal, there's a chariot, here's the um, lead shield, the anesthesiologist behind the lead shield, the nurse is behind the lead shield, so this is what they'd see, this is what they would see, you know, that everybody's protected. I'm gonna go back over to, to me. And then that's it. And then it says, congratulations, you know? You finished the radiation safety module. And then that's it. And now we've tracked it in a standardized fashion that we've gotten, everybody who uses ionizing radiation has received this material. We know they received this material because we have a training tracker in the background. We can make an ACGME milestone. And then everybody that does this is gonna be safer in the room. And then when they come in the room to work with me, I'll know they know what this stuff is. And in module two is gonna to be to teach them the buttons. So here's all the buttons. You can see as I mag in, it looks just like the buttons that we currently do. So we're gonna teach people how to use all the buttons as we move forward. And that's, that's it.